Olight Seeker 3 Pro. Are you all familiar with this one? I mean, maybe not this one because it's kind of brand new as I'm making this video, but the Seeker 2 Pro, if you're familiar with that one, if you've been around Olight for a while, the Seeker 2 Pro in its own right was an amazing light. Similar form factor, similar size, 3200 lumens. It was crazy bright with its three LEDs. This one takes that and trumps it now with four LEDs, now 4200 lumens, 31% brighter, and the same very compact form factor. This is an amazing light for the size and the weight and everything. Getting some of the formalities of this light out of the way, it comes in four colors, black, and there's also a desert tan, night wolf blue, and also the tail is magnetic. So if you had something metal to mount it to, you could do that, maybe the inside of the hood of a car or anything else metal you might wanna stick it to. So another option for using it in that sense. As I've kind of pointed out here, this light, for the size, which is to say not that big, very easy to carry, very easy to hold, and the brightness, which is insane, you put those two together, this is an amazing light. Maybe you don't always need 4,200 lumens, maybe you just need 50 lumens that's gonna do for over two days for a small light that you can kind of stick on things. Check it out, the Olight Seeker 3 Pro. Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. We're gonna be talking about Olight, and we're gonna be talking about a new model of pretty much this light. This is the i5T EOS, very popular AA flashlight. That was one of their best lights, and Olight just brought out a new version called the i5R EOS. Now the R is, this is a rechargeable. Now this one will run on a 14500 lithium ion rechargeable battery. Now as a result of that lithium ion rechargeable battery they are able to get a little bit more performance out of the light. If you look at it next to the i5T it looks almost identical with the exception of a little bit of changes on the knurling here on the body and then a little bit of changes on the tail cap switch. Okay, So other than that pretty much the same light but the new one i5R EOS is brighter again because of the 14500 battery which operates at 3.7 volts so there is the tail cap switch you have a beautiful day we'll see you next time bye for now today we have a tactical version and EDC version of the Streamlight MicroStream USB rechargeable these little guys have little extension ports and I hope you guys can see that here on frame there we go so you can recharge these bad boys when they die they have a much bigger punch than the current versions of the micro stream and they have two different versions that have two different capabilities because of color the brown or tan coyote ver uh, coyote version will have the high beam right out of the gate the first click and then you double click to give you the low beam but the black version is more EDC friendly meaning that the low beam is on when you click the button the first time then you double click it to go on to high so it literally is dependent on if you get the black version or the tan version so we'll all right folks well here we are back at the tabletop and let's break these flashlights down let's have some fun here today you're gonna get all kinds of testing now obviously again the charging port right there with that USB rechargeable cable that face is gonna slide back and forth and so it opens up to give you that access, you got a nice gasket O-ring right there that we'll test in just a moment with some waterproof um, testing and see how it works with that. And then slides back into place. Now on the back side here, you can unscrew it and get access to that rechargeable battery that the USB cable will recharge. There's a gasket there as well, and it does come with two spare gaskets in there. Finally, as always, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there. Welcome back to another review. I've got the Nightcore E4K in for testing. As per usual, we'll go over the box just to show you the key features on this light. I'll go over what's included in this. You get quite a few items with this. Nightcore are usually pretty good with their bundles. There's the user guide. That will be on screen later on. Type C to Type A USB cable. We have the holster. This is very similar to the other Nightcore ones. They just have specific model numbers for different lights and I get on quite well with them. It's quite a thick material doubled over on the nylon so it doesn't feel flimsy. And there's your model number on the back there if you ever need to get a replacement. There is a wrist strap and a spare o-ring included. 
In addition to that, you also get a clip. You'll have to attach the wrist strap directly to that because there's nowhere to put it on the light. This adapter allows you to use other batteries. Specifically, you can use the 18650 or the CR123As or 16340. You won't get the turbo mode with the 16340 batteries. Also note that they stick out a bit further. So if you're using the 18650s unprotected, which you'll probably want to, you'll have to use spacers with that. Let's take a closer look at the light. Very typical of a Nightcore torch. You have good finishing, a bit of knurling on the middle, some grooves, although not particularly heavy grooving on the head. All the dimensions and sizes are on the screen for you. Remember that weight is without the battery. And on the base or tail cap, you just have some markings on that. Nothing else there. There is no magnet inside that either, so you can't attach that to things. We'll unscrew it and take the battery out. This is a high capacity 21700 cell that has a rating of 15 amps. And thanks for watching the video. Hello travelers, today we're taking a look at the Wallben C3, which is a compact rechargeable flashlight that has up to 1200 lumens of brightness. Now I was sent this for review, but my thoughts and opinions are entirely my own. Now links to purchases are in the description and comment section below. In addition to having a bright 1200 lumens, this flashlight is also IP68 water resistant and completely rechargeable via a USB-C port on the side. In the box you also get a wrist strap and a charging cable and two additional rubber sealing gaskets for the battery compartment. The flashlight is made from an aluminum alloy that feels very durable, although it is a little heavy for me personally at 123 grams or 4.3 ounces with the battery included. The 1200 lumen brightness can reach as far as 180 meters roughly or 588 feet. As you can see in this mobile phone footage, I am cycling through the four brightness modes. The first and lowest is Eco, and then Low, Medium, and High. The High mode is the one that shines the brightest, and also the furthest. The Eco mode is only 5 lumens, and lasts for up to 143 hours, with the runtime dropping the brighter you go. You get roughly 20 hours on the Low mode, which is 80 lumens, and 3.5 hours on the Medium mode, which is 400 lumens, and on the high mode you get 2.5 hours roughly and this is the 1200 lumens mode and in the higher modes it does tend to get hot on the front glass element so do be careful of that now the mode switching is a little bit unusual you click the button fully down to turn it on and off but then you tap it lightly or kind of half press it to get to the different modes and it does actually remember what mode you were last on so if you turn it off at the brightest mode, it will stay on the brightest mode when you turn it back on again. And be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.